Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Awkward like young flesh. We're looking at Conquest, an Italian sword and sorcery film directed by Lucio Fulci. Very good. <laughs> yeah. You know where you are with this type of film. Magic. <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> Naked chick chanting on a mountain. Good guy, bad guy, heroic quest, we all go home. Hurry up and leave. Our good guy is Ilias, who is given a magic bow and then goes on a sort of fantasy gap year, just kicking about Middle Earth for a bit. Fare thee well. well. The bad guy, or girl rather, is Okran. Permanently underdressed. Let me see. Let me see this new weapon. Eating the brains of her victims. <laughs> commanding a legion of dog faced minions who sound like an angry Scooby Doo. We kill. We kill your people. A dream warns her of a faceless man who will kill her. or at least shoot an overripe tomato into her chest. And she sends out her army to kill Ilias. Get him! I want him and his weapon. Go! He is saved by a stranger wielding that most indomitable of weapons, the tetherball. <laughs> this is Mace, your typical roguish, I don't care about anyone but myself character. I don't have any friends. Although I do think they take that a little bit far. <laughs> when he kills a random old man to steal his lunch. Food. What did the old man do? I'm on the animal side. Um. Isn't this an animal you're eating? I didn't kill him. An attitude he sticks with. <laughs> Until he doesn't. Let's go hunt for some food. Anyway, Mace takes Ilias back to meet the family and Ilias gets a love interest. Briefly. <laughs> the family are killed, Ilias is captured, and we learn a bit more about Okran. Okran, rule the sun and make night and day. That's not true. Don't debate religion with the people tying you to a stake. That sort of thing has a really bad history. Anyway, the dogmen don't believe in guards, so Mace just rescues Ilias. Quiet. We don't want to wake them. <coughs> now Okran summons dark demon Zora to help. Only you can save me. Rise up, Zora. Rise. Could you not have found a less friendly looking dog? Why have you called me, Okran? Zora pledges to kill Ilias. I shall make him suffer a thousand deaths. One will be enough. That's where these plans always go wrong. Ilias sets out to revenge himself, the death of Mace's family giving him a direction that he previously lacked. Innocent men, women and children were slaughtered. While Mace has a more pragmatic approach. Everybody dies sooner or later. But as they travel, Birds are flying towards the water. What does it mean? Yeah, it means they're ducks. Ah! Ilias! Ah! 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 Ilias is hit by a poison dart, so back they go to find a cure. Mace braving swamp monsters. <laughs> oh! 
and a doppelganger. The experience sends Ilias homeward. I'm running away, let's be honest. But partway there, he has a change of heart. You have already chosen your path, my son. The path of courage and sacrifice. No matter what happens, I shall not forget these words. And is just in time to save Mace from the squeaking spiderweb mummies. <coughs> I say save. He's actually saved by dolphins. Which I didn't feel was adequately explained. Anyway. I've got something to settle with Okrin. Ugh. Are you sure this time? Because we've walked there once already. Let's go then. But Zora hasn't given up. <laughs> and this time... Ilias. I'll be honest, that surprised me. Zora, the great slayer of souls. However... <coughs> no, no. Zora, you have slayed his body but not his soul. I cut off his head, what more do you want? Possessed by the spirit of Ilias, Mace continues on the quest. Mace, I dwell in your spirit. And now, the magic bow is his. Okran retaliates. Stop it, Zora. Again, I did this already. At the start, Ilias isn't here to kill Okran. Her dream leads her to go after him, which in turn leads to her death, and I like that appointment in Samara irony. However... Faceless or not, that's Ilias, but it's Mace who kills her, so the dream is wrong, and even if Mace has Ilias' spirit inside him, I still feel that weakens the premise. It's not good. Although that's not saying much. Conquest delivers on monsters... <laughs> and fights. <laughs> but there's not enough story to fill Okran's spiky panties. Go away. Go away. Thanks for watching. To see the uncut version of this review, join us as a Patreon acolyte. Ilias's death did take me by surprise. What movie deaths have caught you off guard? Let us know in the comments below.